Put your artwork on a t-shirt with Photo Paper Direct transfer paper using an inkjet printer and an iron or heat press. This video will provide helpful tips and walk you through the ironing process. It's super easy. Come on, let's get creative. How to use PPD transfer paper. PPD transfer paper comes in several styles, depending on the fabric you use. We offer transfer paper for light fabrics, dark fabrics, and a mixed packet with half of each kind. The packet includes transfer paper sheets, a shirt alignment tool to help you position the design on a t-shirt, a reusable silicone sheet, and instructions with printer settings. You will need an inkjet printer, your computer with a graphics program, and your selected digital image. You also need either an iron or a heat press, and scissors or a smart cutting machine, including Cricut. You will iron on a heat-resistant surface and not on an ironing board. You should know the key differences between the light and dark fabric transfer paper before you begin. The fastest way to tell the papers apart in the mixed packet is to examine the carrier backing color. The light fabric transfer paper features a red backing. The dark has a blue backing. You'll remove the backing during the application process. When you print your image, you will either mirror or not mirror the image in your graphics file. For dark fabric transfer paper, do not mirror the image. What you see is what you get. For light, you will mirror the image. Any text appears backwards here, but correct when you transfer it to the fabric. Once your image is printed, you will need to cut it out unless your image fills the entire transfer sheet. On the light fabric transfer paper, cut with a loose border. The paper is clear when you remove the backing. No border will appear on the shirt. On the dark fabric transfer paper, trim to the edge of the design, unless you want a white border. Want white printed on the shirt? Whether that's an image or white text, use the dark transfer paper. You cannot use the light paper if any white appears. This is because inkjet printers do not print white, and the light fabric transfer paper does not include a white coating. It is clear. The final difference is seen during the heat application step. For the light fabric paper, place the mirrored image face down with the backing on. Iron as directed. For the dark fabric paper, remove the backing, then place the non-mirrored image face up. Add a silicone sheet, more of that in a bit, iron as directed. You can use PPD transfer paper on any smooth fabric that can withstand high heat, such as cotton, linen, viscose, or denim. Step one, choose your design. To start, open up a graphics program on a computer that can print on your inkjet printer. Remember, if there is white in your image, you must use the dark transfer paper regardless of the fabric color. Step two, print your image. Load your transfer paper sheet into your inkjet printer. Feed it in single sheets. PPD transfer papers are designed to print on any inkjet printer. Use ink, dye-based, or pigmented inks. Adjust your printer settings depending on your printer brand for best results. Use the details on our included instruction sheet. Step three, our transfer paper can be cut easily with scissors or with a smart cutter, including Cricut. Remember to cut it with the backing still attached. We're ready to cut it to size. For the light transfer paper, leave a small border around the design. The image is translucent, so there will be no border. For the dark transfer paper, what you see on the paper is what will transfer to the fabric. Crop any white paper you do not want to see. If you leave a border, it will show. Let's explore how to apply the image, depending on your fabric type. Step four, preheat your iron for five minutes. We recommend you place an old cotton t-shirt on the heat resistant surface where you will iron. This will provide a slight cushion and help with the heat. Ready to apply it? First. Pre-iron your fabric to remove any wrinkles and preheat the fabric. If you're applying your image to a t-shirt, use the included shirt alignment tool to center the image on your shirt. We have a separate video on how to do that. Here, we will apply an image on white or light fabric with the light transfer paper. After you print it and cut it out, leave the backing on. Place the mirrored image face down in the correct position. With the preheated dry iron at maximum temperature, quickly iron to stick the design to the fabric, about 30 seconds all over. Now iron in small circles across the entire paper for three minutes for a full sheet. You need to apply firm and constant pressure on the iron. Stretch the fabric slightly, grab a corner, and smoothly peel off the paper backing. 
Next, add the reusable silicone sheet on top of your design. It's double-sided, so you can use either side. Iron over the silicone sheet for about 30 seconds. Immediately peel off the silicone sheet. Stretch the fabric slightly from the sides while it is still warm. Here, we will apply an image on dark fabric with the dark transfer paper. After you print and cut it out, fully peel off the carrier backing. As you can see, it's totally flexible and won't stick to anything. Place the image face up on the fabric. Add the silicone sheet on top of the image before you iron it. Otherwise, it'll stick to the iron. With a preheated dry iron at maximum temperature, quickly iron to stick the design to the fabric, about 30 seconds all over. Now iron in small circles across the entire paper for three minutes for a full sheet. You need to apply firm and constant pressure on the iron. Peel off the silicone sheet and stretch the fabric slightly from the sides while it is still warm. To care for the image, wash it inside out in a washing machine with a spin cycle. Use the normal wash setting at 104 degrees Fahrenheit or 40 degrees Celsius. Do not wash it in a delicate load. And that's all there is to it. Here are a few helpful tips and best practices before you try it on your own. Please do not use a smart iron. The temperature can fluctuate. You need a steady, high temperature. Avoid a steam iron. You want to dry iron. Always use a hard, heat-resistant surface with an iron, not an ironing board. Only mirror images on light transfer paper. Do not mirror the image on PPD transfer paper for dark fabric. For dark paper, you need to crop or trim close to the image. For light paper, you can rough cut. The paper is transparent. If you are using a handheld heat press, treat it like an iron. Do not use the heat press instructions, use the ironing instructions. Here's a tip. When using the mixed package of light and dark transfer paper, refer to the backing to quickly identify the sheets. Light fabric transfer paper has a red pattern on the back. Dark fabric transfer paper has a blue pattern on the back. For best results, store your PPD transfer paper in its original packaging, flat at room temperature. Photo Paper Direct transfer paper can be used in many ways. Apply it to your t-shirts, denim jackets, cotton tote bags, aprons, and decorative pillows. Express your imagination on light or dark fabric with PPD iron-on transfer paper. Now go have fun and get creative.